Hi and welcome to this Getting Started with Mail Floss video. The first thing you'll need to do before Mail Floss can work as magic is connect your email service provider. Go to Integrations. For demonstration purposes, we're going to use Mail Floss today, but the yellers are just as easy to connect. If you want to import your emails immediately after connecting your ESP, check this box here. We'll leave, we leave this off by default and um, for this video we'll, we'll do the same. Now let's go ahead and set how aggressive we want to floss, clean the emails. For this example, yeah, we'll do a custom floss. Why not? Let's choose a role based spam and accept all. So now that we've set our options, let's go ahead and connect MailChimp. And we'll just log into MailChimp now choose a list and that's it we're all connected you'll see some additional options once you've connected your email service provider so here we see some additional MailChimp options for our video let's just go with we'll manually decide this option is really important the auto floss option we recommend you keep it on all night all, all the time what this means is that with this option checked mail floss will go in every night into your email list and automatically go in and clean up any new subscribers. Now we'll go ahead and import just to, just to force it, um, just to show you what happens. But we wouldn't recommend you do that if you're on a free plan and you have a large email list because it'll you'll use up all your credits. You'll get an email once the flossing is complete as you can see, since we set manual up here, we're starting to see some emails. In this case, since we set our custom floss, we see some role-based emails coming in and some accept all emails, accept all domains. Okay, so once that's complete, you can choose your option. We can do manually unsubscribe or delete, or you can ignore them. So let's just say, yeah, no, we know these are good. We can ignore. Over in the dashboard, you can see some stats of things we've 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 flossed and how we've how we've categorized them, and you can also blacklist and whitelist some additional options. So let's say for role-based emails, we actually want to keep the admin ones. We can actually just write admin in here, and that's it. Simple, right? If you have any more questions, feel free to get in touch. Bye.